welcome to sorry if I spit when I speak. The Bengals had a pretty terrific offseason. Not only did they pick up a linebacker who will help them cover tight ends in Carlos Dansby, but they pick up three rookie receivers who have looked so fantastic that they were able to cut ties with Brandon Tate. Today I'm joined by Dr. Hoji the Electric Smoji and Jordan Harris of a new and up and coming YouTube channel, Sports Dispute TV. So I want to hear with you guys uh, which new addition you're most excited to uh, see play. Personally, I'm very excited to see Tyler Boyd. Uh, the man has strong hands, he's versatile, he helps in the return game, he's super competitive, he's slick, he finds the creases in the defense, and his style complements AJ Green's take the top off the defense uh, type of style perfectly. So you have AJ Green, a big time receiver. And then this rookie with all this potential. It reminds me of when the rookie Randy Moss lined up across from uh, Chris Carter for the Vikings and they won 15 games. Or even better, when Torrey Holt played across from Isaac Bruce and they won the Super Bowl. And then you want to take this Jordan or, or, or should I? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I love Tyler Boyd. I really do. And I love all the hype that is around him. But I think one thing that goes unnoticed is Cody Core's uh, reception ability throughout the preseason. Because actually he's had the most yards and most receptions out of all the wide receivers in, on the Bengals. And one thing that I do think goes unnoticed is that in college he actually didn't even play wide receiver. He was a DB for the first two years. So I think his potential is, is great. Um, for instance, he's 6'2", that's around 6'3", around 205 pounds. He reminds me a lot of Mohamed Sanu, and he has similar game to a Brain LaFell. So therefore, if Brain LaFell doesn't produce as we want to, we can stick him in and maybe get that competition up within the wide receiver group. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to, like, you know, sign, seal, seal and deliver uh, the things that uh, Jordan's saying. I'm totally on the same page. I, I think that you're... you're way way overdoing it here i mean you might want to to ask for a little bit less uh, fairy dust on your morning uh, donuts man you, you, you're like prozac in human form that your boy looks good but he the man is nothing to change your adult diaper about now i want i want to change gears i want to change gears uh, but i, I just want to yeah. yeah before you change gears uh i think uh uh, Jordan, he's not saying that Tyler Boyd's not good or that I'm, he's saying. I think he's saying he's Cody Core. There's nothing you want to change your, your adult type. Yeah, but, but, that's but, what I'm saying. But he's yeah. also saying Cody Core actually could be the steal of the draft, and you know, it looks like he has. A, and I and another. Point I hear him. To, he's a little bit too. He's a little bit too short and a little bit too fat. That's what he was saying. No, I that's not. I, that's I, not what he was saying. That's not what he see. I knew he didn't understand what he was saying. But I just want to add to Jordan's assessment the uh, the fact that. Uh, I agree with you. And another positive about Core is that he played across from Laquan Treadwell, right? So, uh, Absolutely. And so that is why, uh, you know, his stats in college didn't stand out the way they should. But I, I agree. I mean, as soon as I saw the tape of him, I was like, this guy, this guy is big, you know, and he gets separation. I mean, he looks like a big time receiver, so, you know? Um, yeah. So should I change the gears now? Yeah, go ahead. Because I'm going to change him. And I'm going to go change gears and I'm shifting from... Boyd to Alex Erickson. Now that kid, he reminds me, he's like a reincarnation of Michael Molloy. You guys know Michael Molloy? This guy was a real life homeless fireman, okay? Uh, now a few shady guys, they took out a bunch of life insurance on Molloy. They gave him unlimited drinks at the local pub thinking that the man would kill himself by drinking, but he didn't. Then they tried to poison him with turpentine, then rat poison, then antifreeze, and then they throw him in the snow, in the ice, and they pour water on his chest to leave him there to freeze and oh, die, oh, what is this? Uh, what, not. What does so, this have to so, do with well, Alex no, Erickson? This, I'll tell you. What, so, Erickson, Daddy, he's like the real-life Malloy, okay? He once scored 31 points in a basketball game in high school with a broken wrist. That same year, he was named Wisconsin's small school state player of the year as a dual threat quarterback with a broken wrist, okay? So for all of you fans out there who, who were a little bit upset we lost Mohamed Sanu, and I was a little bit upset too, it looks like we have two, two of them now in Boyd and Erickson. So perhaps the biggest gift that, 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 that uh, he's given Bengals fans, in fact, is that he made the underwhelming, let's admit it, Brandon Tate uh, expendable due to Erickson's dynamic punt returns in the preseason. Yeah, so, yeah, I, I agree. I mean, look, there's so many... Uh, uh, 
newborn Bengal kittens, if you will, that we're excited about. And we want to hear which ones you are excited about uh, on our Facebook page, facebook.com backslash DH Sports TV. You know that you're speaking of kittens. Have things gotten awkward between you and your cat? Maybe that old spark just isn't there anymore. Maybe your cat stays out really late and you think he might be avoiding you. Well, the leaky brush is here to save your relationship. See, it's a brush you attach to your tongue to lick your cat. Explore your own inner cat with the licky brush. All right, uh, so um, we'll be back for uh, part two of our season preview in just a little bit.